positivity, that mass and energy are both are both different manifestations of the same thing. A somewhat unfamiliar conception for the average mind. The wait is over. NASA and its partners are releasing data from the largest observing program the James Webb Space Telescope has ever attempted. And you're looking at a piece of it now. This isn't just another pretty picture. This is a panoramic view of cosmic history, built from an enormous survey that will eventually stitch together over 10,000 individual frames to map a staggering landscape of nearly 800,000 galaxies. It's already challenging everything we thought we knew about the dawn of time. In this video, we're going to explore this incredible new view of the cosmos, dive into the groundbreaking discoveries Webb is already making, and figure out what it all means for our search for answers. This isn't just an update, it's a revolution. What is this canvas of creation? Before we dive into the deep end, we need to understand the colossal scale of what we're looking at. This isn't just a snapshot, it's a census. It's all part of a project called Cosmos Web, the most ambitious program Webb tackled in its first year. Imagine pointing a telescope at a patch of sky about the size of three full moons. Now, imagine just staring at that patch for over 255 hours, letting the telescope's incredibly sensitive instruments drink in the faintest, most ancient light imaginable. That's exactly what the Cosmos Web team, a global collaboration of nearly 50 researchers, has been doing. They've been commanding Webb to take thousands of individual pictures, and now face the monumental task of stitching them together into one seamless mosaic. The result is a digital tapestry of a size and depth we've never had before. You might remember the iconic Hubble Deep Field images. Those were revolutionary showing us thousands of galaxies in a tiny speck of sky. Until now, that was our benchmark. But Cosmos Web is on another level, like using a wide-angle lens where Hubble had a telephoto. While many JWST studies drilled deep into one tiny spot, Cosmos Web went for breadth, for the big picture. And that wide view is crucial. It doesn't just show us what galaxies look like, it shows us where they live. It gives us context, revealing how galaxies cluster together and evolve as part of a grand cosmic web. And what did they find in this vast expanse? They expected galaxies, sure, but the sheer number of early galaxies they're finding is a surprise. The final catalog will contain precise data on nearly 800,000 galaxies. That's a treasure trove of information, brightness, shape, distance, now being made public for any scientist anywhere to explore. Lead researcher Jehan Kartelpe said she doesn't know if Webb will ever cover an area this big again, making this a foundational data set for decades. This isn't the end of the story, it's the beginning of thousands of new ones. So how can Webb even see this? The answer is in the revolutionary tech of the James Webb Space Telescope, a machine engineered right at the edge of what's possible. To really get the discoveries, you have to appreciate the instrument. At its heart is that magnificent 6.5 meter primary mirror. It's the largest ever sent to space, made of 18 hexagonal segments of beryllium, a metal that's both super strong and light. Each one is coated in a microscopically thin layer of pure gold. Why gold? Because it is exceptionally good at reflecting infrared light, which is the key to Webb's power. You see, the universe is expanding. As it expands, light from the most distant objects gets stretched out. Visible light from the very first stars has been stretched all the way into the infrared spectrum by the time it reaches us. To our eyes, and even to Hubble, this light is invisible. Webb was built to see this ancient reddened light. But to see those faint signals from the dawn of time, the telescope has to be incredibly cold. Any heat from the scope itself would create an infrared glow, blinding it. It would be like trying to take a picture of a candle from inside a bonfire. To solve that, engineers built a five-layer sunshield the size of a tennis court. 
Each layer is as thin as a human hair, and it keeps the mirror and instruments chilled to a staggering minus 223 degrees Celsius. This incredibly frigid and stable environment lets Webb's instruments work their magic. For the Cosmos Web Survey, two were key, the Near Infrared Camera, or NearCam, and the Mid Infrared Instrument, or MIRI. NearCam provides the high-res images that form the panorama's backbone, while MIRI sees in even longer wavelengths, letting it peer through dust. It's this combination of a giant gold mirror, extreme cold, and hypersensitive instruments that makes these images possible with a quality that, in the words of the researchers, still blows us away. This incredible image is so much more than just something to hang on your wall. It's a scientific database, and by digging through it, astronomers are already making discoveries that are forcing us to rethink the first chapter of the universe. So, let's dive into what they've found. A universe older than we knew. For decades, we've had a standard story of the universe. The Big Bang happens 13.8 billion years ago. Then comes the cosmic dark ages, where the universe is filled with a thick, neutral hydrogen fog that would have absorbed light from the first stars. The idea was that, slowly, over hundreds of millions of years, the first galaxies would burn through this fog in a process called reionization. But Webb is finding galaxies that just shouldn't exist according to that timeline. Now this next discovery comes from a different Webb program called JADES, but it's a perfect example of how Webb is turning our astrophysics on its head. They found a galaxy, JADES-GS-Z13-1, that existed just 330 million years after the Big Bang. The shocking part isn't just its age, it's that it's shining brightly with a hydrogen signature that should have been completely smothered by that cosmic fog. As one team member put it, this result was totally unexpected and has caught astronomers by surprise. It's like finding a fully grown tree in a field where you only expected to see the first seed sprouting. It suggests this galaxy had already blown a huge, clear bubble around itself, a feat theory said should have taken much longer. Another researcher said it perfectly, we really shouldn't have found a galaxy like this. These early galaxies weren't just bigger, they were way more powerful than we thought. Every grand structure, like our own Milky Way, had to start somewhere. The Milky Way is surrounded by about 150 globular clusters, ancient, dense swarms of millions of stars. But when and where did they form? Thanks to Webb, we might finally have an answer. Peering into a distant galaxy known as the Cosmic Gems Arc, seen as it was just 460 million years after the Big Bang, Webb identified something astonishing. Five extremely young, massive, and dense star clusters. Scientists believe these are proto-globular clusters, the very first building blocks of the structures we see today. The lead author of the study said, the surprise and astonishment was incredible when we opened the JWST images for the first time. These clusters are incredibly compact, far denser than any star-forming regions in our local universe. For the first time, we have direct evidence that the seeds of these giant star clusters were planted in the universe's infancy. It's a critical piece of the puzzle for understanding how our own galaxy got its start. For all its power, even Webb can't see individual stars in galaxies billions of light years away. A distant galaxy just looks like a blended smudge of light. Seeing one star in that smudge should be impossible. And yet, Webb has done it. The secret is a phenomenon Albert Einstein predicted over a century ago. Gravitational lensing. A massive object, like a galaxy cluster, warps space-time so much that it bends and magnifies the light from something behind it, acting like a natural, cosmic telescope. This can amplify light by thousands of times. Astronomers have used this trick before, but Webb's incredible sensitivity has taken it to a whole new level. It has allowed scientists to spot individual stars at incredible distances, like the star named Arendelle, which is the most distant single star ever detected seen as it was almost 13 billion years ago. 
This is like being able to spot a single firefly on the other side of a continent. But it's more than a record. By studying these magnified stars, scientists can map the distribution of dark matter in the lensing cluster, opening up a whole new way to study both early stars and the mysterious substance that makes up most of our universe. Perhaps the most profound part of the Cosmos Web project isn't just what they found, but how they're sharing it. The team has made all the data, the images, and the enormous catalog of galaxies publicly and freely available. They even built an interactive online viewer so anyone from a PhD researcher to a curious student can explore this new frontier. This is a huge deal. The raw data from Webb is so complex that it can take research groups a massive amount of time to process. By cleaning it up and creating a science-ready catalog, the Cosmos Web team has done the heavy lifting, democratizing access to our universe's deepest secrets. As one researcher on the project said, it was all worth it because ultimately it has delivered some of the highest quality, science-ready data that will enable groundbreaking science. The implications are immense. We're entering an era where discovery isn't just for those with telescope time, but for anyone with a clever idea and an internet connection. So what's next? The Cosmos Web Survey is just one part of Webb's mission. Every day it sends back more data, pushing ever farther back toward the Big Bang. The discoveries we've talked about today are just the first wave. We're standing at the shore of a new cosmic ocean, and this is our first real map of the coastline. The full exploration has just begun. The universe is a book written in light, and with Webb, we've learned to read a new language. The stories in this data will keep scientists busy for years, and we will be here to bring you the biggest discoveries as they happen. Subscribe now and be part of every new video highlight. From the dawn of our species, we've been defined by our curiosity. We look up at the night sky and feel a connection to something infinitely larger than ourselves. For so long, that view was limited to a few glittering points in a sea of black. But that is no longer a reality. This new view from Webb is more than just data. It's a perspective shift. Seeing hundreds of thousands of galaxies, each home to billions of stars and potentially trillions of worlds, all in a patch of sky we could cover with our thumb is humbling. It reframes everything. Every conflict, every triumph, every moment of human history has played out on a single tiny speck of dust orbiting one star among hundreds of billions, in one galaxy among hundreds of thousands now visible in this single frame. And yet this image isn't a source of insignificance. It's profoundly inspiring. It shows us that the universe isn't empty and cold, but vibrant and dynamic, filled with a richness we're only just beginning to grasp. The same laws of physics that built these distant galaxies built our world and our bodies. We are quite literally made of stardust. We are the universe's way of knowing itself. And with this new eye on the sky, our universe and ourselves will never look the same again.